Okay, Wednesday in the kingdom. Yes, Wednesday morning in the kingdom. I'm totally caught off guard because the little ravens are squawking. Yes, they must be hungry. So maybe the mother's going to go over and breastfeed them like my mother used to do to me. All right, this morning we woke up to plus eight Celsius, but feels like plus seven, which is lies because I'm standing out here dressed warm. It's a chilly cold or chilly warm. And then on the yo-yo scale, plus 46. Yes, we have a truck, 46 Chevy. It's in the shop. And then we have the, and it feels like 45, plus 45 Fahrenheit. And there's the 45 Chevy right there. So we're not sure what we're doing today because it's supposed to be heavy rain. Yes, heavy rain or snow. According to the Facebook memories, we have snow every year at this time, which is normal because May long weekend's coming up. The, yes, the Canadian May long weekend. Yes, so we have stuff in the shop to do. First, we'll have to organize the shop and find the workbench. And then we'll wander around aimlessly lost outside doing loose ends. All right, so last night, I drew this. Oh, we can't see it. Can we see that now, Les Nesman? That will be the back bumper for the 38 GMC. So it matches the 45 Chevy Ram deck. Yes. Also, too, note the license plate number I used. Okay. Can we see that? THX138. If you know what that license plate means, it was a good movie back in 1973. Yes. And John Milner was so cool. Yes, he was cool. Not, well, I'll never be that cool. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. I used a little color, so we have a blueprint to follow along. We might as well make the bumper the same as the 45. That way, they're all the same. And it looks like the king of obsolete. Yes, and it's one size of light fits all. Not like these exotic lights. It's on that service box right now. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, we'll put this over here. And we'll scroll this way. There's a slight breeze now because I brought the camera out. I mean the me phone. So there. I untangled the flags. Hopefully we have a good day today. Yesterday was rain, sun, shine, whatever. It was an icky day all around. But we got lots of things done. And the little ravens are up in there squawking. Right there. They're getting bigger. You can see them outside the nest poking up and stuff like that. Yes. Oh, the joys. But I don't mind them squawking because we have no squirrels now. I don't know where the squirrels went. Oh, they were lunch for the ravens. All right, here we go. Just about made it halfway around. And they got the door open to the whole shack to check things out. We do that every morning because you have to check the heat. You know, we do that, what, 10 months of the year. So you just keep in routine. Oh, <coughs> Oh, the old voice isn't going too good today. Oh, well, we hopefully have a good day. If it wasn't raining or going to rain, we'd plan to do things with the 41 Chevy and Thor the plow truck, haul some water and stuff like that. But if it's going to rain, it'll be muddy. But we plan on that. We'll be in the shop. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and not a very productive morning. I got on my mini hoe and I figured I'd ride it on the Nordic dog trails, cleaning up some debris piles, fluffing everything up because it's still wet and we can go into the wilderness without causing a forest fire. But it never rained, so I'm just getting back now. But I wanted to get these tail lights out. So now it's starting to spit rain, so hopefully we get the rains. Okay, these tail lights are totally oddball for us. And same as these marker lights up here, totally oddball. We're not ordering in anything special. So I wanted to pop these out and clean up the area because I only have one sheet of this, okay? This was on the bottom of the service box. Okay, I don't know if you can see the marks there. See the marks? That went across the, how would you say, give it eye candy yes make it look shiny and pretty well we don't do that so with our tail lights and everything going to be down in the bumper and looking pretty or whatever we don't need this uh those there so let's cut uh block off plates oh these lips need some vodka okay we're going to cut some block off plates but we wanted to get these apart so we had the measurements yes the measurements that's the key so we can cut this after lunch because hopefully it's raining and raining good all right, these lips need some vodka. I have to have some lunch too. All right, let's go have some lunch and get uh, this. Oh, okay, let's go have some lunch and some vodka and then we can get this project underway. 
Okay, just finished up lunch and it was drizzly rain before lunch and everything like that. When I was riding my hoe, it was drizzly rain and they're forecasting heavy rain. But those clouds over there don't look like they hold any rain. So it's kind of sunny and nice. So change of plans. That's one thing nice about being, how would you say, independent and retired. I just do what the weather allows me. And the boss is an asshole. So we want to cut the crap off this welding deck. Okay. And then we can flip it over. Like it was a welding deck. They had the spare tire. He probably put toes and uh, goodies and stuff like that for welding and stuff like that. We want to get this thing smooth on the top here. But this is going to be a great test for the plasma cutter. Because the guy spray painted it with that uh, box liner. That's that tarry stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how the plasma cutter does uh, during that. But it'll probably be no different than the tar on the tanks we've cut over the years and stuff. Or since the purchase of the Pro Point. 38 plus from princess auto you knew it was gonna i was gonna say that all right let's get some work done here till it rains because we're gonna get this thing trimmed up and then we can flip it over because we have to figure out what to do underneath and also too i was just eyeing up this is a thick wall receiver hitch the one i have in the shop there is a thin wall so I'm I think the fellow used that for a vise or something on the as a welding deck. So I think that's going to fall off with the plasma cutter and become the hitch on the 38 GMC with the service box. All right, let's get to work before the rains come. Okay, the sun came out and it got hot when I was cutting all the stuff off the top there and beating those pipes out because those pipes were added in after. And one thing nice about working or cutting on a welding deck is the guy could weld who actually did the modifications. So, so it's just a little nip here and there and it comes apart. It's not like somebody trying to booger weld it and make it stick. All right, so we got some recyclables here and I was even smart enough to put the receiver hitch in. The receiver thingy me bob before i beat it into submission with the hammer because if i didn't do that that little square pipe would be all how would you say not round or not square anymore It'd be oval oblob all right let's get going here we got some grinding to do a few other things to nip off and it looks like it might rain Ooh, those are nasty clouds just like the ex-wife Okay, we're finally getting some rain. I don't know if we can see it out the peeky boo hole, but it took forever. Spit, spit, spit. Now it's got a nice rain on the tin roof and we can hear it. Also, too, we want to get this piece cut up. I don't know if it's called eye candy, I guess we'll call it. Just like a push-up bra. Eye candy. Get that cut up so it's out of the road. All right, so while it's still fresh in my memory and it was only spitting out, I could walk back and forth to the ramp deck outside and get the measurements. Okay, because we want this bumper to be exactly the same as the ramp deck bumper. Okay, since how I just did the ramp ramp deck bumper, it's still fresh in my memory. So I was able to do it upside down. Also too, I have my blueprint here. Okay, so this is how I did it. Yes, grade three was uh, tough for me. So everything is laid out upside down, according to the blueprint, and we're good to go. So we gotta drill some holes, plasma cut, we got the U-bolts, we got everything. It's actually going rather well. All right, let's go have a quick coffee and then we can begin to cut the oh, cut the holes, drill some holes and have some fun. All right. And then now it's raining, so it justifies being in the shop. Okay, I made it to the house to have a quick coffee and then it stopped raining. I can come back out, but it really poured down hard. You can see the puddles and also too, the welding deck changed colors. Now that it's drying off, it's gray on the one side, and then where it's wet, it's black. It's like those blonde ladies in Playboy. As soon as they get wet, their hair turns dark. Oh my, let's get back to work. Wednesday morning in Hooville, it's just after 8 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. There's not much of a sunrise this morning. It's pretty cloudy out and kind of chilly. It's supposed to rain for three or four days, but that could be a lie. The weather channel's always changing. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in, make breakfast, and get to work. 10.30 a.m. and it's been quite a morning. I went to work this morning like I normally do, but I'm not feeling the greatest, so I came home and they asked me to grab a sick note, so I was up at the hospital for about an hour just to be in the room for five seconds to ask the doctor for a sick note. Now I just did some shopping and grabbed my medication so I can head on home and relax. 11 a.m. and I just made home from the kingdom. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, then I'm going to lay down for a little bit. I just took some medication, so hopefully that helps. I've never been this sick this much in my life until I started at the school, and it seems like every two weeks I'm sick again. 
2 p.m. and I just finished doing up all my seeds. These are my starter seeds where I wrap them up in a damp piece of paper towel and put them into my Ziploc bag. I have everything labeled here. I know I'm starting a little late in the season, but that's okay. Once they start sprouting, I can plant them in the kingdom. I also have potatoes that will be planted as well, but now let's head out and check the weather. Forgot to mention that I'll be changing the paper towel inside the Ziploc bag every day. That way it stays nice and moist and it helps the seeds grow a lot faster. This is the quickest way to germinate and to sprout your seeds, I find. It is a lot easier in a Ziploc bag than trying to use a butter container or something else like that. But I think I'm doing pretty good. Let's see how long this will take. I will be putting the date on it so we can keep track. Four p.m. and I'm gonna head on over to the kingdom before it starts raining again. As you can see behind me, it's getting pretty dark out there, so I better get going. Just after four p.m. and I made to the kingdom. Sounds like I'm hearing some thunder out there. As you can see, it's pretty dark off into the distance, so I better head on down and see what my dad's up to and go home before it starts raining. I'll try and get a little video of the thunder and lightning, but we'll see. 4.30, it looks like we're not doing anything in the kingdom today. As I was getting ready to leave, it started pouring. So let's head on back into Whoville quickly before I get soaked. Because I am made of sugar and I will melt. Just after 4.30 and I made it back from the kingdom and put the quad away. I did get soaked coming home, but that's okay. I have to do laundry and have a shower anyways. There's so much rain coming down. It is going down into the trench beside the house here and it's like a waterfall. That's a lot of rain coming down and I got pretty soaked. Almost 5.30 and I'm just getting ready to do the weather and it looks like it started pouring again. There's a lot of rain coming down right now, but now it's time to head inside and do the weather. So much rain has come down, I've been able to fill up almost two big water jugs full. Hopefully my dad has his buckets out as well. Since the water machine at the store still isn't working, we have to find another way to get water. 5.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 11 degrees Celsius, which is 51 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. I would do the weather outside, but it is kind of raining, so I don't want to stand out there and get my weather board wet. Now it's time to head inside. I can't let the dogs out because it's raining. Make supper and end my day. Okay, the stop's leaving the kingdom and it's raining hard. Yes, oh well. She's uh, not made of sugar, so she hopefully she doesn't melt. All right, we're cutting up this eye candy here, and I'm using the guide. Yes, the guide. I'm putting it on the line and half an inch over. See the half inch nest nestman? There, half an inch over, clamp it down and then slide. Ooh, I'm totally unprepared. Okay, we got the slider on the plasma cutter. So I'm just sliding it along and we're getting some nice cuts as you can see right here. So this will be the tail light cover. It's going rather well. Okay, that's a really nice farmer's rain now, and I think the staff got soaked going home, but oh well, she's she's tough. All right, so we're in the shop having fun while it's raining out here, but we have work all lined up. Okay, the bumper's coming along pretty good. I laid it all out, and I'm drilling all my pre-holes, okay? So some of the holes here, I've marked them. Okay, that's a 3 8 hole because there's wire coming through. We have our start holes for the plasma cutter to cut out the circles. All right. And we're going to have to cut a square over here, right there. So we'll test, test our talent. So I drilled all this out, and we have to thank the Kingdom Followers YouTube subscribers that sent us a bunch of drill bits, because that's what we used on this project here. So it actually went very well. All right, let's get the plasma cutter going to warm up the shop. Okay, it's raining good and it's 5.30, but we got to keep going. Yes, we're having a little bit of a water problem in the new part of the shop, but that's a minor detail. All right, let's scroll this way. The shop is a little chilly. I can see my breath. <sighs> can you see that, Les Nesman? All right, but I think we're about 50 degrees in here and the dampness is unreal, but that's okay. All right, we know the limitations of the plasma cutter and we have to use the chop saw blade to cut the web here because we knew it was thick and it wouldn't blow through. All right, so I beveled out my holes because the rubber is uh, uh, not accepting thick material like this. We've done this in the past. 
you just bevel it in it works out good we kind of overcut this one a little big but we made it fit and that's for the electrical plug these have all been beveled down all right so we're going to do the great flip here and then finish the other side okay 6 30 and the rains have stopped i had to keep working while it was raining because i didn't want to go to the house and get soaked and then the dogs knew that it's the end of the day and they'll expect to run in the rain so if i stay out here and keep working it works out good then we don't have to run, walk the dogs in the rain all right so i got the 38 gmc service bumper service box bumper assembled yes and it didn't really take long because we did it on the 45 chevy ramp deck okay so everything went good because i had all my measurements all right so the main thing is is we cut these holes for the lights and then we had to bevel them because this is pretty thick material i don't know what it is it's pretty thick uh probably half inch or whatever and i think these lights are only made to fit into quarter inch uh thick material all right so we went along and then tomorrow we'll straighten this little mess out here and then we got the hitch on okay so they fit the lights in i wanted to put them in and leave them overnight so they're stretched because this is brand new rubber that's been sitting in the storage trailer for probably 10 years so it's a little dry and as you can see we got to fill in that little hole there so it turned out pretty good so we did all the holes first and that's the main thing and then we saved this one for last okay because i think we went and pushed the limits of the plasma cutter cutting this material all right so there's the tip I don't know if you can see it but it has concaved in will the camera focus patience patience okay i don't know if you can see that all right but it concaved in all right so i put a brand new tip in when i started cutting the aluminum because i knew i needed a new tip for the aluminum and then i did all my holes with those pre-drills so then when i got to this here the fight was on to get it to cut it was blowing every which way but straight i'm watching what the sparks are doing underneath if they're going that way i try and correct the gun or whatever so i'm pretty pleased that i had to die grind one of the holes out and this fits in okay there we go close enough for the ladies i go with but i'm very pleased i don't think we should have been how would you say playing with this thick material but like i say get ready everybody i credit that pro point 30a plus for the projects we're doing we're pushing it beyond its limit and we're getting this stuff done like in the past i would have never thought of how to say cutting out the holes and stuff like that if we had the torches we would have cut the holes out beveled the holes like we've done in the past but the plasma cut this whole thing and the only thing we had to really do was use the chop saw blade in here for the corners because that's way too much material to cut so we know that and pre-drill the hole. So we're very pleased. The bumper is, how would you say, officially done except for the hitch. All right. So that would be tomorrow's project. And then make some, how would you say, bracketries to go on the 38. Oh, and when you're playing with new rubbers and stuff like that, you always have lubrication. Yes, lubrication is very important outside the bedroom too. All right, let's go check on the flags okay we're a little short on this video so we'll add something we did from the past all right it's called a rerun maybe well 2006 is when the last time the town of whoville graded the road here so we've been grading this road ever since i got the staff in the head hanger dodge here doing the drag because it's working good we can't afford the price of diesel so we're having fun here. She'll make the road nice and smooth for my 83-year-old neighbor. Everything's looking good. Hopefully the town of Whoville comes and grades it on the 20th anniversary of dragging or grading the road the last time they did it. But the snow drag works good. All right, now I'm going to go make some lunch. Well, it was a good day today. We got a nice bottle of Russian vodka. I don't know if it's illegal in Canada or something like that now with all the events over in Europe. But oh well, not my problem. I'm just going to drink it and enjoy and think of happy thoughts of Natasha from Russia who wanted to be my online friend a few years ago when I was famous on Ice Road Truckers. But oh well, we got the corner pieces of the cab done. We got the hole welded or drilled out for the fenders and somebody made a mistake. But that's okay. It's not the first time. We had to put an extra hole or plate in here because when we made the transmission mount we're too close we can't get the front uh, brace on or whatever so we just modify it like that agent or secret agent 86 says i missed by that much 
But oh well, now we're going to go drink some Russian vodka. Talk to you later. Okay, we finally got the rains which we need because it was too dry too long and stuff like that So this will keep the fires away and it looks like it's gonna rain some more So hopefully we can get these dogs walked and look at the puddles everywhere It was a good rainstorm and stuff like that But I was do everything well planned to hide in the shop where it was nice and dry well kind of sort of humid All right, look at the flags are all tangled up. Let's go walk the dogs drink some beer and make a video talk to you later